<laughs> hello, hello, welcome to Thursday. How you doing guys? Welcome to a Thursday week two of the Play Dates at Home with me, Tom Fiddery. And Mid Sussex District Council. I hope you're having fun. Uh, have you heard the advert on the radio as well? We're on the radio, guys. If you listen to more radio, uh, you hear Tom Fiddery and friends. How cool is that? We're going up in the world. It's week two. We're having lots of fun at the summer holidays. I hope you are. The weather has been all over the place. We've had a little bit of rain. We've had some sunshine. It's looking better this end of the week now. It's all getting good. Uh, and today we're going to have some fun because today is, um, is all about poi passion. Yeah, and they're going to be teaching you how to make poi uh, from things at home and how you can use them as well. And I'm going to have a little go myself. So, uh, Check back afterwards, because after Poi, I'll be doing my little uh, rendition in the garden. Uh, I think Harry Federer might even be joining me and uh, do a little bit of juggling and Poi also. So stick around. Now, tomorrow, we're going to be giving away our first £10. £10, yes, that's lots of money. Uh, our first £10 Amazon gift voucher for the best colouring in. Now, uh, I have been encouraging you to send it all in this week. We've got some more in that I can show you here today as well. Um, I've got to say hi to Henry, age five, who uh, sent it in with his sister and it didn't get a mention. So there's Henry's there. Uh, we didn't have it to show last time. So thanks, Henry. Uh, well done there. Uh, we've also got Ben Warren, age seven, has done this one. And of course, I've got to say a big thank you to Ben as well, who sadly went out after doing this picture and broke his arm. Bless you. Hope you're feeling much better, Ben. Thank you so much for the picture, though. And I hope your arm's getting better, too. Well done, buddy. Fantastic. Who else we got? Uh, Josephine Corrick, age four. This is her colouring in as well. How good is that? Let's see, lots of lovely detail on there. And Eloise Corrick as well. I assume this is your big sister, who's age six, both from Hayward Teeth. Uh, look at that, loads of detail in that one too. And they've even got the play days at home written on the on the laptop screen there. So fantastic. Well done, guys. Um, lots of those coming in, and we'll be announcing the winner of those uh, tomorrow on Friday. Ten pounds Amazon gift voucher. So exciting. Uh, so what are we going to do today? We're going to learn about some juggling. We've got, uh, as I say, Poi Passion coming along. They're going to be doing lots of fun and games. I uh, wanted to tell you something exciting for a Thursday, obviously. Uh, did I ever tell you about my new magic wand? Uh, yeah, not my bendy magic wand, no. Uh, and not Molly the Magic Mop. They've been with me for a very long time, but I do have ooh, a brand new wand. Look at that. Why is it new? I hear you cry because I saved up my pocket money and I bought it for myself. It's so posh. It's very posh. Look, look, look. It's very posh. Comes in its own case and everything. It's got a little sleeve. Do you want to see it? Hmm? You want to? You want to see this? You want to see this? Are you sure? I can't hear you. Do you want to see this? <laughs> okay, all right. Calm down. You're waking the neighbours up. Goodness me. Uh, yeah. Well, this is my brand new magic wand. It is very, very exciting. In fact, it's very new that it doesn't even have. It's so new, should I say? It doesn't even have the orange stripes on it yet. No. See, I've not. I've not customised it yet. It's so brand new. Oh. Look at that ant. Ow. It's um. It's made of metal. It's not breakable. This is a proper magic wand. Look at that. I, I could have been a, uh, what do you call it? A ballerina. Is it a ballerina? When they, they do that twirling. And no, um, Majorette. Majorette. Angelina is a ballerina, isn't it? The uh, the mouse. Uh, I could have been a Majorette. They walk in front of, come follow the band. Whoa! Oops. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Uh, anyway, yes, this is a real magic wand, but obviously it normally lives inside the cover. That's the most important thing. Because if you have a magic wand that doesn't live inside the Sorry. Uh, you have to keep it inside the cover, otherwise it might just get... Oh. Ooh. No, hang on. <laughs> but basically... Oh, hang on. No, hang on. <laughs> uh, it seems... To, I can't get it to stay inside the cover. I can't get it to stay inside the... Ah! Ah! I... <laughs> it's got my... It's got... Ugh, uh, oh, dearie me. Look, ugh. There's a bit of green stuff on the end. Whoop! Um, Right, we won't use that as a magic wand. Perhaps I'll have a little bit more practice with that one because that's a bit odd. Have you guys got a magic wand? Perhaps, perhaps you can make your own. Yeah, because you can get magic wands in shops. You can get magic wands in magic shops, obviously. Uh, you can get magic wands on the internet. Uh, you could even maybe buy your own magic wand with your £10 Amazon gift voucher. Yeah, if you were to fill out. Don't forget, if you do want to enter the competition, which I didn't say earlier, you're supposed to uh, get your grown up onto the uh, the website, Mid Sussex District Council, download the image uh, that the guys have been colouring in and print it off. If you can't print it off, you can go to the libraries and they'll do that for you. Uh, and then maybe you could win a £10 gift voucher and maybe you could go and buy yourself a fantastic magic 
wand. Yeah, or you can make your own because that is also what we do on a Friday. Wastebusters recycling. You can make a recycled magic wand maybe. Who knows? Maybe you can come up with some fantastic ideas. Well, it's time for us to carry on with Thursday right now though, because Poi Passion are waiting very patiently in the wings to come on your very screen here and teach you how to make your own Poi. Poi is all about the art of spinning. It's going to be loads of fun. So stick around with Kate and uh, come back and see me afterwards because I'm going to be having a go myself. See you soon, guys. Hello, my name is Kate Wright and I run Poi Passion Circus and Fire Art. And each year we are with Mid Sussex District entertaining you for around eight years or more. So today we're going to learn how to make poi at home. Now this is for your virtual fun day so I really hope you enjoy this. For those of you who have poied with poi passion before, go and grab your poi and this is how we make poi. I'm going to sit right down. So I have an array of things down here on the floor um, so you're probably wondering, well, how do you make poi at home? Well, here I've got some random objects that are going to be used for juggling as well, but an onion, although it makes your socks smell, or a lemon. They're quite hard. If you've got tennis balls, you can put those as well. I've also made up some bags of rice here. So in here is a tiny handful of rice. And what I'm going to do is drop most of it all over my floor, do this, Put a hair bunchy around it, so I've made myself a little ball, okay? Guess what? Here's one I made earlier. So if you don't have rice, and also just make sure you ask your parents or guardians, can you use their food? I've also got some lentily, uh, lentil peas, maybe pasta, who knows? Get creative, you're going to need a couple of bags and if you've got hair bunches or elastic bands. Okay, don't put too much pressure on yourself though. So this is the next ball. I'm making it with rice. The great thing about making poi with rice is that if you get hungry, you can take them out of socks and eat them. Okay, so just bear with me whilst I put this around like so. Very exciting, isn't it? And then put this bunchy or elastic band around and Voila, I have two. Oh, so this could also transfer into juggling. So, long socks. As I'm a circus performer, I have a lot of long socks. So if you have got over the knee socks, again, make sure you ask someone before you take them. If not, why not try with small socks? So I'm gonna make one of each today, just so you understand that there's no pressure to have long socks. So. I'm going to get my bags of rice. This is going to make very tiny poi and put them in here. And already I have the beginnings of a poi. And I'm going to take this bag and put these in here, like so. Okay, I'm going to stretch. This is good for getting strength. Stretch. And then tie a knot. There, I have some very diddy little poi with my Puma socks that I wear on a normal day. Okay, voila. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, they're not that big, but they're great fun. So again, make sure you ask for anything you're gonna be using. It's really important that you have permission. I would also say poi is probably not a great idea to do in the house, unless you do have um, high ceilings or you have the space around you. So just ensuring that there's space because they can break and knot things and we don't want anybody upset. The nice thing about poi as well is that everybody in the family can have a go. So don't be shy, get a family poi on. Poi is from New Zealand and it is over 2,000 years old and it is a skill that's used for coordination, brain gym exercising and in old terms for storytelling and for strengthening men and women ready for battle. So it has a great history, so do look up what um, uh, the history of poi. So I'm going to make some long ones now and then I'm going to teach you how to poi. So I'm going to do one with some rice and one with a lemon. Now funnily enough I've, I've made quite a few in uh, this loco and this one, the other one is in the bin because I've obviously put a lemon in it and four months has gone past so the lemon now looks like 
like that. <laughs> so that's lovely. Okay, so my long poi, again, really push this down, tie it in a knot, abracadabra, you can do a little bit of that, as this is the circus. Voila. I'm going to put some finger loops in these ones. So put your fingers through, a bit like tying lace, feed it through, and then put another knot here. Stretch, pull, poi. Okay, let's do the other one with a lemon. So obviously lemons are a little bit harder if they hit you. So if you don't want to get hit, I would go for a softer option. And another option actually is you could use a pair of socks scrubbled up in a ball. So there's many ways to make your own poi. If you wanted to decorate them, this is something else you could do as a separate thing. You could get materials and tie them on. So you end up with some sort of flag poise. So be creative and have fun with it. Okay, are you ready to learn poi? So I'm going to stand up in about one minute once I've cleared my space, moved my onion and all of my food that goes in my poi, right over there, out the way. Now these are my contact poi, okay, so this is what I'm going to use today, this is what I work with. These are your sock poi that you've made. Um, we do train people with sock poi's often. Um, and I do have a poi shop on poipassion.com. You can see the great publicity behind us that's falling off. So, how to hold your poi. I'm going to put these in my fingers. So I've got finger loops. It might be you want one finger loop. It might be you just want to hold them. And let's have a look. So I'm going to start by spinning on my hips. Now, I've actually got one poi a lot shorter than the other. So try and make sure their lengths are equal. So just keep remembering these fun days when we're all out together in the summer, enjoying each other's skills and art. Oh, there's popcorn as well at our circus today, and we'll have some of that later. So this is called a same time on the so a little bit like a skipping rope and make sure your poise are going in forward. Now for the bit, the safety bit. So poi, do not want to be spinning really quickly because the faster you spin, ooh, the more likely you are to get hit. So please be aware that these can hurt you if they hit you. So nice gentle spinning and bringing the awareness into either the right hand or the left hand. Just checking. One of your hands might be off doing its own thing. So for example, left might be over here. Keep bringing the attention into the hands and we're gonna spin, spin, spin. Taking this out to a scarecrow, minding not to hit the popcorn machine, gathering back into your hips. And again, taking it out to a long-armed scarecrow, words or gummage if you're slightly older, and gather back in. Bringing them up to shoulder level and making sure the poise have not come inwards. So at the moment we're in forwards, same time. Bouncing beat, wink, wink. Excellent. Okay, now let's try to alternate our point. So all that's changed here is I've gone from forwards to alternating. Forwards to alternating the same time to different beat and alternate. So seeing if you can drop in and out of these two things, same time and alternate, same time and alternate. So alternating to me reminds me of a marching beat. Bom, 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 bom. Excellent, same time, alternate. Okay, so we're going to do a cheeky shimmy. So I'm going to start to alternate and extend my arms outwards. Checking through the alignment, soft elbows, soft arms. Gather back in. And like I said earlier, you still might have a hand that's sort of doing its own thing. Don't worry too much. Poi is a practice and it takes a long time to learn. And we have a saying that says, practice makes perfect and perfect makes practice. 
and start to roll it up to the shoulders, coming back down. Extending outwards, gathering back in, rolling up. And down and out. Excellent. So back to same time. And take it out. Two, three, four. Gather two, three, four. Shoulders. Two, three, four. Alternate. One, two, three, four. So much longer beats. Out. Two, three, and four. Gather. Two, three, and four. And rolling up to the shoulders. Back to same time. Two, three, four. Open. Two, three, four. Gather. Two, three, four. Shoulders. Two, three, four. Alternate. Two, three, and four. And open. Two, three, and four. And gather. Two, three, and four. And shoulders. Two, three, and four. Coming back down, so now we're going to bring our poise inwards, and it won't be getting uh, too far off me doing the little poise, poise show anyway. Um, today on my camera, I actually have Lee Zombie, um, who is going to be performing with us, and I'm, hopefully he'll tell me at some point that I need to do a show for you people, giving me a good five minutes to perform. Open this out slightly, so we're alternating inwards. So what we've done is we've gone from our hips and then we've brought our point inwards. Three and four, back to the hips. Two, three and four, in. Two, three and four, and out. Two, three and four. You see my body's starting to move as well. And back inwards, don't worry if your arms are hurting a little bit, you can always stop and rest. Four and inwards, two, three and four. Let's put this together. So, bouncing beat, one, two, three and four and out, two, three and four and in, two, three and four and up, two, three and four and alternate, two, three and four and out, three and four and gather, two, three and four and up, Two, three, and four, and inwards. Keep them inwards. Mm, let's learn one move. So these are flows, and we're going to learn one move before I do a tipsy little show. Back onto the hips. So we're going to go back to bouncing me, and we're going to hopefully forwards cross our point. So if we don't know how to do this, you can cross the arms over and start to try and spin the point here. And if not, come out and seeing if you can cross back through again. And come out. So we're going to go cross one, come out. One, two, three, and four. Cross one, come out. One, two, three, and four. Cross one, out. One, two, three, and four. So just into the camera. One, two, one, two, three, and four. One, two. I hope you enjoy learning a tinsy little bit of poi. Don't forget to look on poipassion.com for all the courses that I do offer and online work. And um, we will see you next year, hopefully. And um, I'm going to do a little poi show for you now to see the extent of how you can flow with your poi. Please feel free to send me into any videos to Poi Passion Circus and Fire Arts on Facebook or Kate Poi Passion on Instagram. Let's get rid of these ones and bring in Boy. Okay, so I haven't got any music today. This is me doing some split time movements. Butterfly head drops. Split head drops, split angels, split birds. All the poi moves have names. Let's have a look at that in backwards, so the point can go forwards or backwards. Yeah, it's great. Up it comes, down it comes. And 
I know that everybody wants to see a forwards and backwards weave. So here's your forwards and backwards weave. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to bring this quite close to the camera. Now we always smile when we're performing. It makes people really like the performer and it makes the warmth. So smiling brings warmth. So remembering this summer, do our best to smile at people so we can bring warmth and happiness. So a little bit over the head weave as well. And let's see if we can do some thread the needles. Thread drop, archer in, thread drop, archer in, angel. Turning, alternating, we were just looking at. Chasers. And let's do a quick spiral wrap to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have the most magical summer. We're so sorry we can't be with you this year, but we are going to come back bigger and better next year. With lots of love, thanks from Poi Passion, Circus and Fire Arts. Take care everybody, have fun. We've been inspired by Poi Passion to play with some uh, poi. Yeah, Dids here has got some poi on string, uh, which is a little bit different. They're, uh, they're purpose-made poi, uh, which obviously we've got kicking around the house because, uh, you know, we go clubbing a lot as well. Uh, and, and, and go Harry! Bye, Toby! All right, the dog came out as well. But, uh, oh, now you can see that. It just looked like Harry floated across the screen. You've got to go that way a bit. They can't see it, they can't see it, they can't see it. They can't see it. Oh, you really can't no, see No, look at that. You really can't. hopping on. Let's uh, move the camera a little bit. Hey, come on then. Let's see some stunts. <laughs> well, da, 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 da. Oh, Wait, a You're doing a stunt. You're doing a stunt as we speak. Oh, oh so oh, close, so close, so close. Uh, better unicycle ride. Uh, so we can far. do some, uh, <laughs> we can do some, uh, some club juggling as well. Let's do a bit of club juggling. Let's see, you could be learning all of this with the help of uh, Kate and the Poi Passion and all the crew as well. You could be learning lots of things like this and then you too could be a foodery family. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that was a little bit on the close side. Uh, what else we got? Juggling balls. Let's see some... Uh, I'm juggling the balls as well. We're going to be learning this throughout the week. Uh, Dits, come do some juggling. Dits, um. come do some juggling. Come on, take the ball, do some juggling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she has skills in other areas. Uh, we also got Harry's going to do some juggling. Wait, wait, wait. Harry and my mum do some juggling uh, on the unicycle. Are you ready? Here we go. Unicycling and juggling all at once. What's it called? <laughs> you don't need to stay on, I haven't got one. <laughs> We're going to work on that. Ready, ready, ready? So here we go. Third, uh, try lucky. Third time mm. lucky, isn't it? Third time lucky, third time lucky. Here we go. Nope. Oh, I did it! <laughs> nice, nice. I actually did that. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I'm going to try the poi that you've just been learning with, uh, with poi passion. Here we go. This is, how, uh, this is how I've always been doing it. Obviously the orange, because uh, that's the, uh, the, uh, the family colours. Here we go. <laughs> is there in the background? Yeah, here we go. All right, here we Whoa. go. Ready, one. Uh, so yeah, so obviously it's a bit of a spin. These are quite, uh, these are quite dangerous. Actually. If you get this wrong, it can really, really hurt. But you can. Your, in your uh, eye. In, uh, in your <laughs> eye. Just be careful. Be I careful. I should walk uh, in and just smack it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at that. No, look. Balls flying everywhere. Da 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 da. You're gonna go really far. You go. Oh. I'm alright. Nobody panic. Ow. <laughs> Getting beaten up in my own garden, thanks kids. Ouch! And that is why you shouldn't bring your children into your work. <laughs> it was throwing balls at me, did you see that? There was things flying everywhere. Uh, but a big thank you to Kate and the Boy Passion crew uh, for inspiring us this afternoon. We got out and we had a lot of fun with our juggling stuff. We're very lucky, we've got lots of juggling stuff uh, just kicking around the house because uh, that's my job, obviously. Um, but of course, as you've seen today, you don't need all that stuff. You can make it out of simple things that you've got kicking around the home. So a big thank you to those and uh, get practicing, guys. Next week, Kate and Poi Passion will be back with some more uh, stuff. I think they're doing contact ball, I think it's next week, which is where you make
paint the ball and make it look like it's it's floating in the air. It's a bit brilliant. Brilliant. Watch out for that. You can see that again. Uh, now it's coming to the end of our Thursday session. I hope you had fun with us here and we'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget, we'll be announcing the winner of the Colouring In competition. Still time. If you can just get some in overnight, maybe you could be in this week's draw. There's always next week as well. So get yourself online and download that image to Colour In. You've seen it. Here it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Download it. If you can't get going up to go to the library, if your printer's not working, it is available in all the libraries in Mid-Sussex District Council as well. Right, now I thought I'd make you something. As we've been out in the garden this afternoon, uh, I thought we would have a uh, little bit of fun making, making something that you see in the garden every now and again from a balloon. What would you, what would you find in the garden? What should we make? If we could make... Uh, cats, yes, you would find cats in the garden. Well done. Uh, so we could make a cat. That's right. We could make a dog. I made a dog, though. We made a dog the other day. Uh, what else? Could, yes, snails. You find them in the garden. Yes, we could make a snail from it. What was that? Hmm? A barbecue. Barbecue from a balloon. <laughs> no, I'm not making a barbecue from a balloon, but I am going to make you something you find in the garden. Let's see if you can guess what this is. If I get a little twist. How about now? Can you tell? Can you... It does. It could be a dog. Could be a dog. It's not. No, it's not going to be a dog. It's going to be something else. Let's put it around like that. Mm -hmm. Put it around like that. Around like that. What, what about now? What about now? Got it? No, 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 no. Okay. Put it around like that. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Hmm? What is that? It is. You're right. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. It is. If I give that a little squish and it looks even better, it was a little flower. Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? And you know what? I'm going to take this now. I'm going to plant it in the garden. I'm going to give it sunlight and water and nurture it and even speak to it. And do you know one day, do you know what will happen? Nothing. It's just a balloon. It's not going to grow. It's, not going to, it's just a balloon. It will look pretty for a long time, though. It'll look lovely. Guys, have a lovely rest of your Thursday. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning for lots and lots more fun with the Waste Busters as well. So get ready to start recycling and, more importantly, recycle it right. Happy Thursday, guys. See you tomorrow.